After a delicious dinner, everyone is used to the mountain of dirty dishes greeting them in the sink. Apart from the personal lazy perspective, washing dishes can cause a waste of water and the chemicals in dish soaps, like sulfate, create water pollution. To tackle the environmental problems concerning dishwashing, we came up with an idea to apply NASA's particle contamination mitigation methods to create self-cleaning dishes. Originally, particle contamination mitigation methods were developed to create dust-resistant space equipment using their low-friction superhydrophobic properties. NASA developed two particle contamination mitigation methods. First, the synthesis of polyamide coatings increases particle adhesion and creates reduced surface energy. Second, the laser surface patterning creates a physically superhydrophobic surface by increasing the contact angle between a liquid and the PCMM applied surface. This forces the liquid to remain in its droplet shape. Because liquids will remain as a droplet, not a splattered mess, liquids on a PCMM applied surface can slide off easily. Now imagine applying these methods to plates. You'll be able to wash plates with a single swipe of water. The liquid food remnants will slide right off. This is not a far-fetched idea. PCMM is currently applied to industrial film, aircraft, and metal metallic equipment. Since the technology for a spinoff already used in a, is already used in a variety of industries, it is not it is confirmed that PCMM is economically feasible. It is also likely that PCMM can be used on common dish material such as ceramic and glass, given the myriad and of material PCMM is already applied to. Still, we would like to confirm the feasibility of our spin-off ourselves. If we had the access to polyamide coating and lasers, we would inscribe nanoscale superhydrophobic patterns in the plate with the laser, then apply polyamide coating to the pattern. The double protection would ensure the superhydrophobic surface lasts for a long time. Also, we would like to compare the PCMM applied plate to a normal plate by dipping both plates in a colored liquid and observing how much water and time is used to remove the stain on the two plates. Through the spin-off designing process, we learned how the lotus leaf effect, low surface energy, and particle adhesion can create a physically superhydrophobic surface. Unfortunately, we also learned that external forces can easily denature the commercial hydrophobic nanostructures. If we could ask an expert, how well can the polyamide coating preserve the superhydrophobic nanostructure? We would understand the durability of our sleeve cleaning dish model better. Although our idea needs to be developed a bit more, we hope to save water and prevent water pollution with self-cleaning dishes.